Welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livia Alaro. Today I am joined by an exceptional bartender, Joy Figueroa, who is going to show us how to make a holiday cocktail from her wonderful island of Puerto Rico called the Coquito. Jay, it's so great to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I was talking to our mutual friend, Joey P, and he actually texted me and he said, hey, on your show, and he's a great fan of Master Glass, he says, you should really have Joy so that she can make the coquito. <laughs> and I had never heard of this drink. Shamefully, I had never heard of the coquito. And then a few days later, I'm reading up on the coquito and your name shows up and I said, I got to have Joy on the show. So I'm happy you're here. You've worked in some of Las Vegas' best cocktail-centric cocktail bars, and you are exceptional, and I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you, thank you. Your floor is yours, baby. Well, Coquito is traditionally made in the holidays in Puerto Rico. Uh, my grandma used to make this tea with cinnamon and cloves and vanilla, and now we have a bit of a modern version of the Coquito, which is the one that I'm gonna do today. Okay, fantastic. Will you tell us the difference between the old and the new? Absolutely. Well, um, now I substituted uh, the tea that Grandma used to make with the spices and the rum. Oh, fantastic. But before we make coquito, we got to have another traditional drink called Chichaito. Okay, I'm in. Yes, yes. This is a mix of rum and anisette. Oh, fantastic. And this looks exciting. I believe that you're going to enjoy it a lot. Well, you know I am a fan of anise you flavored are? spirits. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Cheers, salud. salud. Thank you for sharing a piece of Puerto Rico. This is amazing. Now we're ready. Delicious. Okay, right. on with the coquito. Coquito. So I chose Don Q spice, like I said. Um, it substitutes the spices that grandma used to make in the stove. It cuts the time of the coquito. So I'm going to use two ounces of it. Coquito is supposed to be um, full of rum, mm. kind of thick and sweet. Okay, just so like Puerto Rican women. Pink and sweet. Ah, just like Puerto Rican women. Okay. Yep. I like it. And then I'm going to use coconut cream. Okay. How much of that? I'm going to use two as well. Two ounces of coconut mm -hmm. cream. Fantastic. And what brand did you choose in this? I case? chose Coco Lopez. Oh, okay. Coco mm -hmm. Lopez. Fantastic. Very nice. And then I'm going to do one of evaporated milk. Condensed milk and evaporated milk. Condensed and evaporated. One right. ice. Amazing. Very nice. And so this is a typical Christmas drink. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Every house, every family has their own flair to their recipes, but this is the base. This is definitely the base. You don't want to mess with it. You want it thick, you want it sweet, you want it full of rum. That's the way it goes. That sounds nice to me. Yes, a little bit of cinnamon as well inside and then we're going to use it as a garnish. Oh, very nice. As well, yeah. So cinnamon in the shaker and cinnamon on top. Mm -hmm. On I'm top right. as well. We're going to give it a good shake. All right. Very nice. Amazing. This is how I like it. Okay, so now you just strain it, no ice right in the glass, right? And is this glass a traditional glass of any sort? Actually, it's served in shot glasses, but um, we like it a lot. So <laughs> a shot glass won't do it. There won't be mm -hmm. enough. I no. like the way you think. No, it I won't. I like be. the way you think. There you have traditional coquito. Amazing. May I try? <laughs> Please do. Okay. As you know, this is my first time ever. And I'm honored. Oh. I'm honored. Please enjoy. Thank you. Thank Let you. Me thank know. you. Ready to try the coquito. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a Puerto Rican Christmas in a, in a glass, in the liquid. So good, so delicious. It's got those, uh, you know, the spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg uh, from the rum and from your garnish. It's, mm -hmm. It has a little bit of this cereal taste to it. Uh, the coconut is not cloying, you know, you typically, typically you imagine coconut drinks to have this big bully coconut flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, the two ounces of rum did, yeah. did, did the job and allowed that coconut flavor to be subdued properly in the right way. I'm gonna take one more sip because I have to and then Please. I'll let you try your own Please. drink. How's that? Mm. Mm. 
Wow, unbelievable. Oh yeah, I'm home. <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to Master Your Glass, where you will continue to get expert instructions for everyday consumption.